Oh, oh my god. Okay, so a couple things before we start this video real quick. Um, it was just me putting in my rear axles, right? But I couldn't actually finish that job because of the lateral link bolt. I had to actually break it to get it out, and I didn't have the bushings and all that stuff, so couldn't finish that job. The second thing is the broken valve cover bolt, which is the reason why it's at the shop right now. I actually just called him to see what was going on with that, and he told me he couldn't get it out. So one of two things is going to have to happen now. Either I bring the car back and I try to get it out myself by taking the motor fully out and drilling, or we just go and we buy a new head and we put that in. Either way, the motor has to come out and the car is not going to be ready for a little bit longer, so H2O is not happening for her this weekend. But you will still see me there, you just won't see the car. Sorry guys. So yeah, with that out the way, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, it was a little bit more on the negative side only because I got discouraged, but remember to keep moving forward and the vibe is peace, love, and positivity all lifelong. Also, just going to apologize now, but like halfway through the video, the audio quality decided to shit itself. I don't know why, but sorry. <laughs> sorry that I haven't made a video in like I think almost two weeks now uh, cars kind of just been sitting for a while I've been just waiting for things to come in so my axles finally came in we're gonna try to put those in today so fingers crossed I can do it on my own and once you got the wheel off the first thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead and take off this axle nut right here so it's a 32 millimeter if you don't have an impact gun make sure that you loosen this bolt before you put the car up in the air or else it's just gonna free spin it's never gonna come off <laughs> hard to get it off at first but you gotta kind of just wiggle it off maybe Boom. there we go now we can just move that out of the way want to make sure that there's no pressure on this line or anything or it's not getting pinched because that is your brake line so if that gets messed up you're gonna have to replace that I don't know if you guys can see but there's two bolts right here that you got to take off too for the brake pads so just go ahead and take those off and then this whole bracket right here should be able to kind of just come off these ones right here are 14 millimeter bolts and just like that the assembly comes off and now we can actually take off the rotor too well, we should be able to so sometimes it'll get stuck on there so all you got to do is just bang it out with like a hammer or something so I just made the biggest rookie mistake and shame on me for this one make sure that your e-brake is down or else you're not gonna be able to take off your uh, the rotor simple as that is not going anywhere huh the bolt that i was trying to get out i don't know if you guys can see it's the spindle bolt right here so it's a 17 millimeter um and it connects to the spindle like i said so you're going to want to go ahead and take that off too so you got some clearance to take the axle out if you get that spindle bolt out you're going to want to take off this uh 19 millimeter bolt that's for your lateral arms that connects to your spindle my car is kind of old so i spray a lot of wd-40 on a lot of these uh nuts and bolts just so i don't break anything I recommend you do the same thing if you have an older car with a lot of oxidation and stuff under there. Oh, please tell me I have space. No, I don't have space. If I move my mud flap, I probably have space. But... Two hours later. So would you believe me if I told you that I've legitimately been sitting here trying to get this one bolt off for the longest time? This lateral link bolt, for whatever reason, just does not want to budge. I tried it with the impact gun on its uh, highest torque setting. I tried using just the breaker bar and some leverage, got nowhere. I tried doing it from this side. The locking nut came off, but still the actual bolt itself won't move. So now I'm debating on maybe taking off one of those nuts back there and dropping the arm that way. That way I can uh, pull this out and have clearance to grab the axle. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I'm actually kind of upset with myself, only for the fact that I couldn't get it done. And to be honest, I think it's just because I need a stronger impact gun. So with that being said, my buddy Dan's going to come by in a little bit and he's going to let me use his Milwaukee. And hopefully, hopefully, it should be strong enough to break that bolt. Early the next morning. <sighs> so... Currently, I am waiting for a tow truck, and we're going to bring it to my buddy's shop, and I'll see if maybe he can get it out. Worst case scenario is I'm going to have to get a new head, and I'll just go to the junkyard, 
grab one there. So let's see how today plays out. Oh no, it didn't scrape. It didn't scrape. Huh? It just barely scraped. That's so cool. Yep. Ooh, that is perfect. Okay. Now an off might be different, but I got one, so. All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate it so much. All right. We're good. We're tailing this thing the whole way there. Fingers crossed that I'm able to drive my car again this week. It's been a solid month, and like I'm actually kind of sad and boost deprived. It's not last time in a month. It's pleasant. Yeah, a, a lot has happened in the month. You're yeah, happening, you're right. Blew up. His car blew up. But that's why we're in a Honda now. We're in a we're in a SI. <laughs> Shit's rough out here, man. So I don't know where we're supposed to pull at. Just go past them, I guess. Oh, my thing. Rustang. Oh, it looks ass. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back in one second, we're gonna go see what's up. Alright. Okay. Almost gonna swing it. Yeah. Back yeah. Alright, so you want me to turn this way? Yeah. No, no, okay, you're good. Alright, you're driving the inside, that's good. This thing is clean too. If you guys look in the wrap, like it's like, wow, the camera does not pick it up, but it's like embroidered. And it's a nice little Audi. And he's got suede mirrors. That's different. I've never seen suede mirrors before. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely trying to tackle the bolt and the axles today. So, took off the motor mounts first. Because those are 14 millimeter bolts. And we're gonna just raise this up and see if we can drill it out. You know, you would have thought that even with snap-on tools, you know, a legitimate <laughs> air gun, that maybe I'd be able to get it off, it still hasn't budged at all, so I'm actually stuck. So I've just come to the conclusion that I actually just can't. I just can't do it. That, uh, that lateral link bolt has to kind of just be cut off, and at the moment I don't really have the fundage to go ahead and uh, grab new bushings and everything, so we're gonna have to wait a little while. Sorry guys. This was supposed to be a super easy install, but life's not simple. Nonetheless, we are going to keep moving forward, and I'm going to try to get it back on the road. My buddy Tony's going to fix it up for me, and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video, whenever that may be.